If I told you for only $8, you could make your BMW's engine last tens of thousands of miles longer, get better fuel economy, and perform quieter, would you believe me? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you all this amazing Liquid Molly product that I've been using in my E92 for years, and I'm gonna break down exactly what it is and why each and every one of y'all need to use this in your BMW ASAP. So yeah, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Let's go. So this right here is Liquid Molly's MOS2 anti-friction engine treatment. And what this does is basically protect your BMW's engine from all sorts of engine wear. What this MOS2 actually stands for is molybdenum desulfide. And I'm probably butchering the enunciation for that but what that basically is is an extremely extremely good lubricant and now you've probably seen a lot of types of ceramic treatments out there etc that are similar to this liquid molly one and i've used a lot of them in my bmw and i'm telling y'all this liquid molly one is an absolute game changer this has extremely good lubricating qualities and the more lubricated the internals of your engine are the less you're gonna have metal on metal contact and your engine wearing out on you. And now if we actually read the back, ensures immediate friction and wear reduction, adds an extremely protective and pressure resistant boundary layer with low friction and lubricates during cold starts to prevent damage from lack of oil. Contributes to lower fuel economy, longer engine life, and less noise. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is fire up my BMW, because we're gonna go ahead and take sound clips of before and after using the Liquid Molly. So I'm gonna turn it on and show you guys how loud the engine is without the Liquid Molly additive. <laughs> Sweet guys, so the audio clip you just saw was without using the Liquid Molly anti-friction lubricant right here. And you can hear there's a little bit of lifter tick and you can still hear the metallic N52 sound. The N52 always has this little metallic tick to it, really no matter what you do. And this is the only thing I've found that's been able to fix that. So let's go ahead and pour this into the car and I'll show you guys the difference. You'll hear just how much quieter it is with this anti-friction solution. Cool, so let's go ahead and open up the oil cap so we can go ahead and pour in this Liquid Molly. Go ahead and put my funnel into place. And then you really wanna shake this stuff up nicely. That way all the little sediments and et cetera get broken up. And now what you wanna do is actually pour this in before the oil because you want the oil to wash it down. And so we're not gonna need the whole can. I'm gonna use about a third to half of it. They used to recommend on the back that you only use a fifth of it, but that recommendation went away. So I'm gonna go ahead and use about a third of it per oil change. Cool, pull off the little ring that's in there. Nice, and you'll see it's this really graphite color. That's because of all the additives and the ceramic lubricant. So go ahead and put that off to the side. And I don't know if you guys can see inside of there, but it looks like paint almost. It's like a really graphite color. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pour in about a third or half of this liquid molly. Cool, so that's about half of the little container here. So go ahead and put this off to the side. And now you can see that this stuff is very sticky because it really sticks on to all the hard internals of the engine. So now we're actually gonna wash it down with oil now. And you guys can see just how sticky and tacky this stuff is because it's still all up inside the funnel. But go ahead and put the funnel off to the side. And now we'll go ahead, close up the oil. And now we're gonna turn on the car, but we're gonna allow the car to idle out for a few minutes. That way that liquid molly can make its rounds, you know, around the system. Now we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna pop up before and after shot so you can hear the sound bites to how this BMW sounds before and after I use this liquid molly. So well, before on the left side, after on the right side, and I'll show you guys just how much quieter it is with this stuff. So let's go ahead and pop that up right now. And guys, the difference was day and night. Without this Liquid Molly engine treatment, you could hear the lifter tick a lot more obviously, and overall the engine area just sounded a lot louder 
After using this liquid molly, the lifter tick was quieted down significantly and overall the engine just sounded a lot smoother than it did without me using this. I've been using this liquid molly product in my BMW for years now and I absolutely recommend it. Reducing the friction in your BMW's moving parts and the engine all together is gonna get you more miles out of the car. So for only eight bucks and you can use it for a couple oil changes because we didn't even use the whole thing, it's a no-brainer, guys. I'll have a link for this down below where you can purchase your own. It is two thumbs up for me. I highly recommend it. And really, every single BMW owner should be using this Liquid Molly product. Thank y'all for watching. If you liked this video or you found it helpful, smash that thumbs up so I know to make more videos like this. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace out.